Hello, everybody. I'm Jim McMahon, and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello, hello. We are continuing on with more Blood Bowl 2020 team le leaks. We are looking at the Black Orc team. This is going to be one of your box set teams. Uh, you know, at first blush, I wasn't too impressed, but Jim says he can convince me otherwise. Jim, talk me through this team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Now we know what Brawler means. Uh, brawler means that when you make a block action, uh, but not as part of a Blitz action, <laughs> you can re-roll one both down result. So what that means is every time you roll a push and a both down, you can just instantly re-roll that both down for more chance to knock people over. And it means if you like roll a boat down a skull or whatever, you can still then try to avoid it. So it's making all of your block actions a lot more reliable. So it's actually a pretty good skill. We we weren't sure, you know, it could have been it could have been rubbish, but actually it turns out to be pretty good. Um, grabs interesting, especially when you've got six players with it. Um, what's funny about this team is they're like really really bad lizard men. <laughs> you know, they're like lizard men with minus two movement off every single player in the team. Which is testament to how completely broken lizard men are. <laughs> that that's still a good, that's still like not a terrible team instantly. <laughs> um, yeah, thick skull on the goblins, so they're, they're slightly more expensive than normal goblins, but they've got thick skull, so you know they're harder to remove. Um, that's like fine, isn't it? And then you've got black orcs with uh, six of them, with brawler and grab, so you can grab for like big fouls. They're a fouling team. That's interesting. They've got um, Badlands Brawl, so they get like, you know, Orc star players, uh, Barag and what have you. And then Bribery and Corruption means they, they get the, uh, they can re-roll and argue the call of a one once per game. And they have uh, cheaper inducements like, you know, f uh, bribes and biased refs. And they get a troll. And a troll's pretty rubbish, to be honest, but it's a trained troll. Three plus, like, you know, it's rubbish in that it's slow. It's like, you know, when you compare it to a Crocs, it's it's a lot worse than a Crocs. The Black Orcs, the, the fact they've got Brawl and Grab, they're not that much worse than Saurus. The fact that the Goblins have got Thick Skull and you can throw them, they're not that bad. But then the Troll seems super bad compared to a Crocs. But he's still Strength 5, and he's got, he's got Throw Teammate, so he gives you that chance of throwing the Goblins for a one turn. Fair enough. So I think the only leery thing on this team is actually your blitz action for the turn because <laughs> Brawler won't apply. You don't have any block off the bat. A little bit scary, but again, that's something lizard men have been living with for a long time. So I'm sure black orc coaches can learn to live with it too. I do like the idea of this foul heavy team. I know both you and I love fouling in games and uh, rely on it heavily to get a numbers <laughs> advantage. Wait, that's not accurate at all. But that bribery and corruption rule really does kind of even the odds of not just instantly, as we say, gym fouling yourself <laughs> off the pitch. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, uh, argue the call is very powerful, and the fact that your first time you fail, you'll be able to re-roll it, and get and not only not get sent off, like, the head coach won't be sent off if you, unless you roll a double one, and um, it will give you also another chance to succeed in uh, in stopping your player getting sent off, and uh, Sneaky Git is greatly buffed in this edition, we didn't know that at the time either, Sneaky, Sneaky Git is now, you're only sent off on a double on the injury, not on the armour, never on the armour. So, you know, it, it, that makes it a lot better than it was before. And also you can carry on moving after you've fouled if you've got sneaky git. So you can then, you know, you can dig them with a foul and then retreat so that you're protected. And especially with grab, you will be able to set up huge gang fouls quite, quite easily, can't you? Absolutely. So walk us through your ideal starting team uh, with these, uh, these three player options, Jim. Yeah, well, I mean, I would start with all of the bigger boys. And <laughs> and two re-rolls, and then fill it up with goblins. Um, I believe you can even have six goblins. Um, I've, I've honestly forgotten, but five or six goblins, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then if you can't have the sixth goblin, you can have the, uh, you know, dedicated fans to fill up the dedicated fans, because that's, that's a pretty good investment um, in the future, no matter how, you know, especially like two, two dedicated fans, are gonna pretty much pay for themselves instantly after the first game, so absolutely, yeah, really good. And so uh, important to note, though, probably pretty obvi obvious because they're a little different. Those goblin bruiser linemen do not uh, the the black orc team does not have the special rule that negates their uh, their TV costs. So 
they are going to count against it, unlike the uh, the Snotlings and the uh, the Noblars of uh, of other teams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they would be they would be hellishly broken. If, if yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and then one last question for you, Jim. What what's your ideal black orc leveling up look like? Well, it, it, now again, this this ties into the video we've just made about the seasons and redrafting. I I just don't know. You know, I think if you were playing where you were able to give them block first, that's really good. Like it's obviously blocks incredible. Um, I think after block, uh, mighty blow as well. You know, the fact that you've got brawler. You don't need block so much, so you could just go mighty blow on most of them, and you could go block on one maybe, and then he could be your blitz character. Um, but also, I think they make quite good use of random strength skills when you think about it. They can't get strong arm because they haven't got throw teammate, and they can get three really good skills: uh, being guard, stand firm, and mighty blow. And then there's only if they've already got two skills, so you know th th there's two skills they can't get. So I think they could. Um, they would have quite a good chance of getting a random mighty blow guard or stand firm, and then for three for three SPPs and only ten k, I think you know spamming spamming random strength skills on them would be all right actually. Fair enough. Well, that is a pretty in depth look at the Black Orc team, the new Blood Bowl twenty twenty edition coming soon, and uh, that's about it from us. Thanks as always for having me, Jim. Thanks very much, Gorilla, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.